The Emperor and the Female War Dancer Chapter 1, Shadows of Rebellion In the heart of the Imperial City, where towering spires scraped the sky and golden banners fluttered in the breeze, Emperor Marcus sat upon his throne, his gaze fixed upon the map spread out before him. His brow furrowed with concern as reports of rebellion poured in from the far reaches of the Empire. The kingdoms of the East grow restless, Your Majesty, one of his advisors spoke, his voice tinged with worry. The people are weary of our rule, and whispers of dissent spread like wildfire through the streets. Emperor Marcus nodded solemnly, his eyes narrowing with determination. He had worked tirelessly to expand his empire, to bring wealth and prosperity to its people. Yet despite his efforts, unrest continued to simmer on the fringes of his domain, threatening to boil over into full-scale rebellion. We cannot allow this rebellion to spread, he declared, his voice resonating with authority. Gather our forces. We march at dawn. As his advisors hurried to carry out his orders, Emperor Marcus pondered the rumors that had reached his ears, whispers of a legendary warrior, known only as the female war dancer, whose skill on the battlefield was said to be unmatched by any mortal. If the stories are true, he mused to himself, perhaps she is the key to quelling this rebellion once and for all. Chapter 2 the search begins. In the rugged mountains of the east, where the air crackled with the energy of ancient magic, the female war dancer made her home. Clad in armor that gleamed like starlight and wielding blades that sang with each deadly strike, she was a force to be reckoned with, a warrior born of legend and myth. Yet despite her prowess on the battlefield, the female war dancer had grown weary of war. She had seen the suffering wrought by conflict, felt the weight of oppression pressing down upon the people, and longed for a world where peace reigned supreme. As she honed her skills amidst the wild beauty of the mountains, whispers reached her ears of the unrest brewing in the empire. The people cried out for freedom, their voices a haunting echo in the stillness of the night. Determined to do what she could to aid their cause, the female war dancer set out on a journey to join the rebels, her heart heavy with the weight of the world upon her shoulders. Meanwhile, in the imperial city, Emperor Marcus dispatched his most trusted emissaries on a quest to find the legendary warrior whispered about in the taverns and marketplaces, the female war dancer. Their journey would take them to the far reaches of the empire, where danger lurked around every corner and ancient secrets lay hidden beneath the earth. The Emperor and the Female War Dancer Chapter 3, Paths Crossed As the sun dipped below the horizon and shadows lengthened across the land, the female war dancer made her way through the dense forests that blanketed the mountains of the east. Her senses were sharp, attuned to the slightest rustle of leaves or snap of twigs that betrayed the presence of danger. Suddenly, she heard the sound of hoofbeats echoing through the trees, and she melted into the shadows, her blades at the ready. But as the riders drew near, she saw that they bore no weapons, their faces set in expressions of determination rather than malice. We come in peace, one of the riders called out his voice ringing clear through the stillness of the forest. We seek the female war dancer. The female war dancer emerged from the shadows, her eyes narrowing with suspicion. What business do you have with me? She asked, her voice tinged with caution. We come on behalf of Emperor Marcus, the writer replied. He wishes to enlist your aid in quelling the rebellion that threatens to tear the empire apart. At the mention of the emperor's name, the female war dancer's gaze hardened. She had heard tales of his iron-fisted rule, of the oppression and tyranny that had driven the people to rebellion. And though her heart longed for peace, she could not in good conscience align herself with a ruler whose thirst for power knew no bounds. Tell your emperor that I have no interest in serving his cause, she declared, her voice cold as steel. The people of the empire deserve better than his tyranny. With that, she vanished into the depths of the forest, leaving the riders to ponder her words. Chapter 4, A Change of Heart as Emperor Marcus awaited word from his emissaries, his thoughts were consumed by the rebellion that threatened to engulf his empire in flames. He knew that he needed to act swiftly if he was to maintain his grip on power and preserve his legacy for future generations. Yet even as he planned his next move, a seed of doubt began to take root in his heart. He had always prided himself on his strength and authority, on his ability to bend others to his will through force of arms. But now, as he gazed out upon the city that he had built, he found himself questioning the path that he had chosen. Is this truly what I want? He wondered aloud, his voice echoing through the empty halls of his palace. Or is there another way to bring peace to the Empire? It was then that his advisors returned, their faces grim with news of their encounter with the female war dancer. 
They relayed her words to him, speaking of her refusal to serve his cause and her unwavering commitment to the people of the empire. Emperor Marcus listened in silence, his thoughts racing as he pondered the implications of her words. For the first time in his life, he found himself questioning the righteousness of his cause, wondering if perhaps there was more to be gained by listening to the grievances of his people rather than crushing them beneath his heel. In that moment, something shifted within him, a spark of empathy, perhaps, or the faint echo of a forgotten dream. And as he looked out upon the city that he had built, he knew that he could no longer turn a blind eye to the suffering of his people. Chapter 5, A Meeting of Minds Determined to seek out the female war dancer once more, Emperor Marcus set out on a journey of his own, his heart heavy with the weight of the world upon his shoulders. He traveled deep into the heart of the mountains, where the air crackled with the energy of ancient magic and the whispers of the wind carried secrets of times long past. Finally, he came upon a hidden glade, bathed in the soft glow of moonlight filtering through the trees. There, amidst the wild beauty of the forest, he found the female war dancer, her form a silhouette against the backdrop of the night sky. She turned to face him, her eyes blazing with defiance. What brings you here, Emperor? She asked, her voice tinged with skepticism. Emperor Marcus approached her slowly, his hands held out in a gesture of peace. I come not as your enemy, but as someone who seeks to understand, he replied, his voice soft yet determined. I have heard the cries of the people, felt the weight of their suffering pressing down upon me. And though I have wielded power with an iron fist, I now realize that true strength lies not in domination, but in compassion. The female war dancer regarded him with caution, her gaze searching his face for any hint of deception. Yet as she looked into his eyes, she saw something unexpected, a flicker of humanity, perhaps, or the faint echo of a forgotten dream. I have seen the suffering wrought by conflict, felt the weight of oppression pressing down upon the people, she confessed, her voice heavy with emotion. And though my heart longs for peace, I fear that it may never be achieved so long as the empire remains divided. Emperor Marcus nodded solemnly, his gaze unwavering. Then let us work together to forge a new path forward, he proposed, his voice ringing clear through the stillness of the night. Let us listen to the grievances of our people, address their concerns, and strive to build a world where peace reigns supreme. And in that moment, beneath the canopy of stars that stretched across the sky, Emperor Marcus and the female war dancer forged an alliance unlike any the Empire had ever seen. With their minds united and their hearts aligned, they set out to bring peace to a land torn apart by strife. Chapter 6, A New Dawn As the sun rose on the horizon, casting its golden rays across the land, Emperor Marcus and the female war dancer emerged from the depths of the forest, their resolve stronger than ever before. Together, they rallied the forces of the Empire, inspiring courage in the hearts of their people and forging bonds that would withstand the harshest of trials. With Emperor Marcus's strategic brilliance guiding their every move and the female war dancer's unmatched skill on the battlefield turning the tide of the fight, they led the Imperial Army against the rebel forces, their alliance a beacon of hope in a world consumed by darkness. And as the dust settled and the cries of battle faded into silence, they stood victorious amidst the ruins of war, their alliance a testament to the power of compassion and understanding. For in their unity, they had not only saved the empire from destruction but paved the way for a new era of peace and prosperity for all who called it home. And as they looked out upon the city that they had saved, they knew that their journey was far from over. For though the road ahead would be fraught with challenges and obstacles, they would face them together, hand in hand, as allies and friends. For in the annals of history, there would always be remembered the emperor and the female war dancer, whose courage and sacrifice had changed the course of destiny and brought light to a world consumed by darkness.